In this incomplete records topic video, we'll be looking at the use of control accounts. Remember that in incomplete records questions, you're required to calculate missing figures. For example, sometimes the business owner might not keep copies of invoices received from suppliers and sent out to customers, and therefore doesn't have a record of their total sales revenue and total purchases. Figures for sales revenue and purchases can be calculated using a control account to calculate credit sales from a sales ledger control account and credit purchases from a purchase ledger control account. Then total sales revenue is equal to cash sales plus credit sales and total purchases are equal to cash purchases plus credit purchases. Once these have been calculated, figures are then available to put into an income statement. Let's start by looking at the purchase ledger control account. I've shown it here represented as a T account. The balance on the purchase ledger control account represents total trade payables, in other words, the total amount owed to suppliers. Although the control account is not part of the double entry, the purchase ledger control account can be considered to behave as a liability account would, and therefore the balance is on the credit side. Other items that increase the liability balance are shown on the credit side too. These include credit purchases, returned checks, and interest charged by suppliers. On the debit side are items that reduce the liability, such as returns outwards. Remember that these are goods returned to a supplier. The bank figure shows the amounts paid to suppliers. And there's also discount received and contra entries. Remember that contra entries are offset entries with the other side of the double entry being shown in the sales ledger control account. If you're not familiar with these items that are in the control account, you might find it helpful to watch the control accounts video that is available to subscribers on our website. Once all of the items have been recorded in the control account, it is balanced in exactly the same way as any other T account. In incomplete records questions, usually, but not always, the missing figure that you need to calculate is credit purchases. The good news with incomplete records questions is that they are rarely as complicated as the example I've shown here. In fact, usually exam questions only include the information I've circled here in red. So balances at the start and the end of the year, the credit purchases figure, which is the missing figure usually, and also the bank figure representing the amount paid to suppliers. However, please do bear in mind that these other items can appear in an incomplete records question, so do look out for them. Let's have a look at an example. At the start of the financial year, £5,967 is owed to suppliers in respect of goods purchased for resale. And at the end of the year, £4,811 is owed. During the year, £13,821 has been paid to suppliers from the business's bank account. What is the value of credit purchases for the financial year? To answer the question, we'll prepare the purchase ledger control account. You can see here that I've drawn it out and I've shown the items that appear in the question. Do you feel as though you could have a go at completing the control account? Why don't you pause the video now and have a go at completing it and then you can compare your answer to mine. So the first step is to put in the information from the question. This includes the balance at the start of the year and the end of the year and the bank figure. The unknown figure, the credit purchases, is shown here with the red question mark. Once you've included all of the information from the question, then we balance the account as follows. The first thing is to add up the items in the debit column, in other words, the one where the question mark does not show, and write down the total. This same total is shown on the credit side. We're now ready to calculate the value of credit purchases, and we do this by taking the total, 
18,632 minus the other items that are above the total in the credit column. In this case, it's just the balance brought forward of £5,967. So the answer to the question is the credit purchases have a value of £12,665. I hope you're enjoying this video. Subscribers to our website, www.studytheeasyway.com, have access to topic videos that cover the whole of the AQA A-Level Accounting syllabus. In addition, there are worksheets with fully explained answers, online quizzes that give you an immediate score and feedback, and lots of revision resources which are really useful when it gets closer to exam time. In addition, there are freebie resources available, so why don't you check these out? Let's continue now with the sales ledger control account. I've drawn one here, as you can see. The balance on the sales ledger control account represents total trade receivables. Although the control account is not part of the double entry, it can be considered to behave as an asset account would, and therefore the balance brought forward is shown on the debit side. Other items that increase the value of the asset are shown on the debit side too. These include credit sales, returned checks and interest charged to customers. And items are shown on the credit side that reduce the value of the asset. These include returns inwards, the bank, which represents customers making payments into the business, discount allowed, irrecoverable debts written off, and contra entries. Notice that the contra entries are always shown on the credit side here. And the other side of the double entry here would be into the purchase ledger. Once all of the items have been recorded, then the account is balanced in the normal way, as I have shown here. Usually, but not always, the missing figure in incomplete records questions is the credit sales figure. And as before, you'll normally usually find that incomplete records questions have a far simplified version of the control account that's needed compared to this one. In fact, usually the information that is presented that you will need to include is the balances at the start and end of the year, the bank figure, and then also that missing credit sales figure. As before, though, you might find that other items are included in the question, so you do need to look out for those. Let's look at an example. At the start of the financial year, £6,884 is owed by customers. And at the end of the year, £7,516 is owed. During the year, £15,880 has been received from customers and paid into the business's bank account. What is the value of credit sales for the financial year? I've drawn out here the sales ledger control account. Why don't you pause the video now and see if you can complete it, and then you can compare your answer to mine. As before, the first thing to do is to transfer the information from the question into the control account, and you can see that I've done that. I've represented with the red question mark our missing figure, credit sales. We now balance the account. Firstly, we add up the items in the credit column to give a total. This is represented with the yellow arrow. That total is then transferred and written into the debit column total. We can now calculate the value of credit sales, and we do this by taking the total, 23,396, and deduct from that the other items in the debit column. In this case, it's just the balance brought forward of £6,884. This leaves us then with a figure for credit sales of £16,512. And that's how you use control accounts to calculate missing figures for credit sales and credit purchases, as we saw earlier, which can then be used to form part of the answer to the income statement that the question might require you to produce. Subscribers to our website have access to the whole AQA A-level syllabus in terms of resources that are available. Once you've logged on, you can click into the section and topic of your choice. And once you've done so, you'll be presented with a full list of the resources that are available for this topic. 
These include a full range of short topic videos covering every aspect that you need to know. In addition, there are worksheets with answers and also multiple choice quizzes where you can immediately check your knowledge. You can find us on social media and please visit our website www.studytheeasyway.com where you can find our freebie resources so that you can see more topic videos before you decide whether to subscribe. Our Instagram channel is updated every week with free check your knowledge questions so you can use these as an additional resource. Thanks for watching the video.